Oh, there's another one. Crushed by Mookie Betts. Watch it fly. Totally out of Fenway. That was totally out of Fenway, and we're totally inside the Nesson Digital Studios bringing you the latest Red Sox now. I'm your host, Rachel Holt. The Red Sox continue their strong play, winning 12 of their last 17 games after beating the Twins 6-2 on Wednesday night, thanks in part to Mookie Betts' two home runs. But the big question many Sox fans are asking, is it too little, too late? The Tampa Bay Rays currently hold the top wild card spot with Oakland and Cleveland not far behind, but despite their hot streak, the Sox are still five and a half games back and only have 23 games left on the schedule to close that gap. The good news, the Sox still have a four game series left against the Rays, which could certainly sway things quite a bit. And the Indians still have six games left against the division leading Twins. Part of the reason the Red Sox have been playing so well, Eduardo Rodriguez, who has been an unstoppable force as of late. Check it out. In his last four starts, he's 4-0 with a 1.03 ERA, and since July 1st, he's been red hot with a 9-1 record and 2.52 ERA. The Red Sox have won seven in a row when Erod starts. Not bad for a guy who was having such a roller coaster year at the start of the season. Where he was in April, mm. There were, there were a few things we cleaned up with him, and um, yeah, he took off as far as preparation. He's been a lot better, more consistent, more into it. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that have work, you know, in between starts. And, and like I've been saying all along, he, he didn't have to be David or Chris or Rick or Nate, you know. Um, Eduardo Rodriguez is a good pitcher and he got good stuff. Another reason for the Red Sox success may come as a surprise to some, the Red Sox bullpen. Which, by the way, is very crowded these days because of September call-ups. Check this out as 17 relievers were crammed like sardines in the Sox bullpen in right field. For much of the season, the Sox bullpen struggled as they blew an American League high 18 saves in the first half. But since July 24th, they have turned things around. Since then, the team has the best bullpen ERA in the American League. Also since that time, opponents have been hitting just 204 against the bullpen, the lowest mark in the majors. The Sox will need more of the same from their pitching staff this weekend. After finishing off their three-game set with Minnesota, the Sox host the Yankees in a four-game series. This is the last time the teams will see each other in the regular season. Then they hit the road to take on the Blue Jays for three before flying to Philly for a brief two-game set. And now let's send it to Courtney Cox for the Nissan Social Drive. for your social drive presented by Nissan. So imagine this, you get off a plane and there are a bunch of photographers snapping pics. You would feel pretty good about yourself, right? Until you turn around and see who they're all waiting for. That's exactly what happened to Dirk Nowitzki, who was getting off a flight from China only to realize Ezekiel Elliott was behind him at the airport. Yikes, and from Dallas to New England, the Patriots are getting ready for the Steelers and Jacoby Myers is making sure to silence the haters before game day posting this photo on Instagram and saying, too slow, they said, game week. The shush emoji, it adds a little something something. And we gotta end with some puppies. The Cincinnati Reds had these good boys at the park, and I need this to happen at Fenway as soon as possible. That's your Nissan Social Drive. Social Drive is presented by Nissan. Shop choosenissan.com. Well, the sun is setting on this show, and summer for that matter, so let's show you some of the pics of the amazing sunset Wednesday night at Fenway. Incredible shots. Here's to hoping the sun doesn't set on the Red Sox season anytime soon. See you next week.